Good afternoon, this is Sean Golding with Golding and Golding, here to discuss international tax investigations in the IRS. Despite what some of these kind of fear-mongering, doofy attorneys want you to believe, the IRS is not hiding behind every corner, waiting to, <laughs> waiting to arrest you and throw, away, throw you in jail, throw away the key forever. It doesn't work that way. For the most part, international tax investigations are on the rise, uh, simply because the penalty uh, that the IRS can can get from you is is intense. I mean, the F bar and the fact of penalties that we'll go over in a minute, they can be pretty they can be pretty high. So the goal is to stay in compliance, but it, it's mainly to avoid penalties, not to avoid you know being swiped away and thrown into prison. Okay, uh, there there are different types of in, international tax investigations. You've got a uh, civil tax, which is basically your your auditor examination. Uh, you've also got criminal tax investigations. Those obviously are more serious, but they're they're rare. Enforcement could mean um, penalties such as uh, monetary fines uh, and imprisonment, liens, levies, seizures, things like that. Let's start with civil offshore tax investigations. With a civil offshore tax investigation, think of it as your think of it as your typical audit. Right, you're at home one day. You get a letter in the mail. It says uh, you're under audit. You may have an IDR, which is uh, information document request. Oftentimes, it doesn't even start with uh, with international. You, you get the letter and it says, "Hey, do you have any unreported income?" And you think, "Oh, geez, I've got those accounts I never thought about. I'm paying tax overseas, but I guess I didn't report the income here." Um, it may ask if you have any foreign accounts, and that's the first time you really kind of do the research and realize. Oh, there is an F bar and FATCA reporting requirement for some of these accounts, even if they were open before you came here, even if uh, that money's never come to the U.S. Uh, there are some other more serious types of audits. I mean, there's still audits, but the, the the term is eggshell and reverse eggshell. With an eggshell audit, you, the person under audit, is aware of these foreign accounts, assets, uh, investments, and income. You're just hoping the IRS agent doesn't specifically ask about it. You can't make any intentional misrepresentations and omissions, so you want to kind of dance around it properly with counsel. Then you've got the reverse eggshell, which is tougher. In a reverse eggshell, auditor already knows about your, your unreported accounts and assets, investments, things like that. They're just seeing whether you're going to come clean or not. Um, when it comes to these audits and exams, the, the fines can be brutal. I mean, quite honestly, the FBAR willful penalty is 50% max value. Um, FATCA penalties can, can kind of add up and then you've got you know your 5471s and your foreign trust and gifts and things like that but it's just money I mean money is money right but it's not imprisonment when we get to the criminal offshore uh, that that's a little more serious in, in that type of situation what would typically happen is the following <clears throat> so you will be under audit and the auditor is not buying what you're selling um, the auditor has no right to arrest you or ask you any criminal type questions. They have to kind of bump it out to a, a, a referral to the IRS special agents who will then consider it. And if they go forward, they will try to find you when you're not ready. They will ask you to talk. They'll tell you you're not under arrest. You should never talk directly to the special agent, no matter what. Um, they're, they're not, you're not going to be slick enough to talk past them. They probably have a lot more information than they may uh, lead on. Um, in addition, whatever you say is going to be used against you, so it's just not worth it. At, at that point, you politely ask um, that you'd like your attorney. If the special agents believe that, that a crime was committed, um, they can prove intent and beyond a reasonable doubt, let's say, then it's bumped over the Department of Justice, some other three-letter three um, agency uh, for the U.S. government, and then they will either consider pursuing an indictment or criminal complaint. Beyond monetary fines, uh, you can get hit with, with jail or prison time depending on the length of the sentence and the nature of the crime, so it's something to consider. If you're out of compliance, one of the best things you could do to get into compliance is voluntary disclosure, tax amnesty. There's lots of different programs available. There's the traditional voluntary disclosure. Um, in the offshore arena, it takes over where OBDP left off for people who are willful or just cannot certify under penalty of perjury that they're not willful. Then you've got the streamlined procedures uh, for people who are non-wolfful, streamlined domestic, streamlined foreign. You've got delinquency procedures, and then you have reasonable cause. Uh, we have lots of free information available on our website, goldinglawyers.com. If you want, you can contact us for a reduced fee initial consultation. Again, my name is Sean Golding.
Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.